the grocery store and it's 5 15. so we gotta unpack i'm gonna do a little grocery haul why because i really wanted to i just didn't think it would take this long to go grocery shopping we have my life together so let's do it i went to trader joe's and oldie Make this happen, shall we? Hello you guys, welcome back to another grocery haul. I went to Aldi and Trader Joe's. It's gonna be a quick one because it's already 5.20 and I haven't started dinner. So, let's get into it. Um, this is all, I think it was one, 120 from Aldi. Sorry, 120 from Aldi and 70 from Trader Joe's. So just shy. $200. <clears throat> Got lots of stuff. Let's go through it all. Starting with protein from Aldi. I grabbed some chicken thighs. They had thin chicken breast, 50% off, so I just grabbed it. Plus another pack of chicken thighs. I'm planning to do this like tikka masala situation, which I got this like sauce stuff. Oh no, I've never tried this simmer sauce. The ingredients didn't look too bad. So I figured let's try it out and figured that's what I would use the chicken breast for. Um, I also got some garlic knot. I thought that would be just like a quick and easy thing with some broccolini on the side. Call it macaroni. I need to start putting some of this stuff in the freezer because <laughs> I got a lot of freezer stuff from Trader Joe's. I got some chicken fried rice, which I've never tried the chicken fried rice. I've only ever tried like the veggie thing. Um, I got some just plain mixed veggie medley for Arlo. This is the organic one for him for dinners, lunches, whatnot. I haven't had this in a minute and I saw it and I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a minute. I didn't get seaweed, y'all. Shame. I still have plenty, but this um, mochi, it's kind of like mochi, rice cakes, Japanese. It's really spicy. I forgot how much I love these. These have like rosemary in them. Yeah, uh, turkey burgers, just like a quick, easy like lunch situation. Putting all my freezer stuff in it. Some extra peas. We like to have that in like pastas, but also for Arlo. Same thing with broccoli florets, frozen. I think that's all for frozen stuff. Oh no, these from Aldi. I got these little ginger cubes. I've been getting fresh ginger regularly, but I feel like I really do use it quick. And I figured these would be nice to just have in the freezer for like sauces and stuff. So it's just one cube is one teaspoon of ginger, which it's like, yes. Um, is that all for my frozens? Oh no, rice. I grabbed just some box rice, just for those quick, easy things. Um, salt, we needed some more salt. We are gonna be out of it soon, so I grabbed that. Some coconut milk. I'm doing like a, a recipe from Half Baked Harvest. It's like a bomb me bowl, but use that term lightly because when I was reading, <laughs> I like pulled up the recipe and I was reading the comments and people were very upset with her using it culturally inappropriately. So don't hate me for that. I'm just following that recipe. And this is what she uses for coconut rice. Oh my God, Trader Joe's has these. And y'all know I'm obsessed with these. I'm gonna, right now, you have my word. I'm gonna stop saying I'm gonna make these every week because I never do. And I'm just gonna continue to buy them because I really love them. They're the cheddar and uncured bacon. If you've never tried them, they're so freaking good. Um, but they have these omelets, the cheese and sour, or sour cream. Egg omelets with cheddar cheese. Per container is 450 calories, which I think is four of them, with 33 grams of protein. I think it's literally just eggs and cheese, and that's it. So, I don't know, I figured I would try it and see what I thought about it, because I've never had it. I got some chopsticks. Three of those, the turkey ones are my faves. I grabbed two protein bars. I haven't had these in a hot minute. The chocolate dough and the cookies and cream by Barbell. These are pretty high calories, but they good, I think, if I remember correctly. Speaking of protein, I pretty much eat one of these, like, if not every day, close to it. Just the grass-fed beef jerky from Aldi. It's like 4.50. Um, such a good, easy, quick snack. I picked Arlo up some raisins from Aldi. He likes those. I hate raisins, but he freaking loves them. Some taco taco seasoning from 
um, Trader Joe's. I like to have this to make taco salads. I like to just have it on hand. It's really spicy, but it's good. These whole cashews have been my jam. The salted, um, roasted, so good. Let's see, let's see. I'm trying to get through this fast. Um, peanut butter cracker things from Aldi. These are just individual things, which I thought would be nice for Arlo on the go. These, I love these. So does Arlo, the little Oreo thins. What else for the pantry did I get? Um, these. I'm a salty snacker at night, so I figured I would try these. They're the cheddar cheese rice snacks. I love rice snacks. I figured I'd give those a go. Grab some more veggies. I have a ton of pre-made veggies and hummus in the fridge already, so I don't need a ton, but I wanted these for the week. I grabbed some chicken sausage. This is the apple and chardonnay, smoked apple and chardonnay. Some broccolini for that tiki masala that I was talking to you about, tikka masala. Um, some cilantro for tonight, some limes for tonight. Jalapeno for tonight. Shallots for tonight and whatever. More garlic, go through that so fast. Maple syrup because I think we're running low on it. I grabbed the seltzer from Trader Joe's because it looked good. It's the lemon and ginger juice. I don't know. I have never seen Trader Joe's carry smoked paprika. And I'm also like, I was unaware that this is literally like bell peppers, smoked and powdered. Anyway, I need more, I always need it, never have it. Some slices of just cheddar, or Swiss cheese, some light string cheese, some cucumbers, celery, carrots, again for just veggies, snacks throughout the week. This pepperoni my dad got when we were at his house for Christmas and it is so good. It's like super thick cut baked, super thick cut pepperoni. I love pepperoni to snack on. To think of garbanzo beans to snack on, but also to make hummus with. I got three things of heart of palm. These are so good. I don't think that they taste like cheese sticks. Don't believe those girls to tell you that they taste like cheese sticks. But I ate the entire can last week, and then we went to um, Fogo de Chao on Friday, and they had them there at the salad bar, and I ate them again. And they're so good. This time I want to try them. I feel like I have something on my shirt. I don't. Um, this time I want to try them with. Balsamic vinegar I've heard is really good. Regular ginger, some bananas, the sourdough round I love from Aldi. Just some quick sesame oil. I like to get my toasted sesame oil from the Asian market, but we haven't been in a hot minute and I just needed it um, for recipes and stuff. Some milk, whole milk. You're sitting on a box of tangerine LaCroix, which is my favorite flavor. Blueberries for little man and for us. These are bubble I like to cook with a yogurt for Arlo, whole milk. I already have regular Greek yogurt and a ton of cottage cheese in the fridge. Some avocados, I haven't had avocados in a long minute, so I figured try it out, get it back in my life again, and I need it for tonight's recipe. And then last but not least, take a deep breath, um, ground pork. I was gonna get ground chicken, they didn't have any. Um, my recipe called for ground turkey, or ground chicken, or ground pork. And I'm sick of using ground turkey because it really truly is just so dry. <laughs> The one at Aldi anyway. So that's it, that's everything I got. It was a lot, it was really fast. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed. If you like seeing these videos and wanna continue seeing them, let me know, it helps by giving this video a thumbs up. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.